Hi folks, Bob Mesacom right here. This week I'll be fishing with longtime friend Paul Mills at Edmund Lake Lodge in Manitoba. The plan is to find areas influenced by warming water, which will cause early season pike to collect in large numbers. Whether using a spoon or a jig and lizard combination, fishing these large group of pike can be a blast. So come on along to Manitoba as Paul and I fish trophy pike at Edmund Lake. Hi everyone, Bob Mesa Plumber here. For nearly two decades, I have been blessed with opportunities to fish throughout North America, and none of this could have been made possible without you, the viewer. I would personally like to thank everyone for allowing me my dream, and welcome you to Simply Fishing for another great angling adventure. Brought to you by the Canadian Connection. Go where we go throughout Canada. Evan Root Outboards. Fish leaner, meaner, and cleaner with direct fuel injection. Motor Guide Trolling Motors of Brunswick Corporation. Peterson Tackle, makers of the Inhaler, the Duke, and the Joker. Pose Lures, makers of the Awaker and the legendary Giant Jackpot. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Shimano Compre Rods and Calcutta Reels for precision and proficiency unite. Western Filaments Toughline and Tough XP with tension lock technology. And Video Ray, going where no underwater camera has dared to go. There's one fish on. Good deal. Nah, that's got that's got a little size to it. Pulling good, huh? Yes, indeed. Oh, ho, ho, yes. You're turning the boat. Oh, I got a little grass on there too. That's all right. You got her under control? Yeah. You want me to keep fishing? Uh, I think you can, but. Okay. We'll see what happens when I get to the boat. I'm just gonna <laughs> hold this jackpot off the end of this rod tip for a couple of seconds. She hasn't done anything yet, has she? Not really. The grass has got her all. Careful now, careful. She's going to try to run on you. Yeah. Get your free spool and get your thumb on it. Yeah. Got Can it. you see her? No, I, she I just. I thought I saw the spoon there for a second. Yeah, I could see the spoon, but she's got a little grass. There she is. Oh, oh yeah. look, look at, at that. You got it in the back. Yeah. You just swung on it. Sure um, did. Why don't you come this way with her? I'll try to. You want a hand grabber? You want me to? I can handle her. Okay. You got your hands full. After she. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, rod tip around the front. Rod tip around the front. Around the front. Around the front. Around the front. All the way around. There all right. You go. Let her get that. Uh, a couple of bursts out of her. Yeah. Well then, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. All right. <laughs> you got that one under control. I'll see if I can catch her cousin. That's a big pike. Sure. She's. You holler if you need a hand. I don't want to bring her in until she's. Uh, Good and ready? Yeah. She's got a little. Oh, yeah. She's taking a little. Still taking a little line. Yeah, she swung out. I'm going to get this jackpot out of your way. I'd like to think of, well, <laughs> okay. She's not quite ready yet. Okay. I got the camera ready. Okay. You ready? I can get a, you can get a picture, eh? All right. Okay, girl. Come on. There we go. There. All right. <laughs> Got All it. right, let's put her back. Yeah. Good job, big guy. All right. <laughs> is that that TE? Yes, it is. You want me to set that reel up for you real quick so it's backlash free? Oh, sure. Here. <laughs> sure, please. <laughs> That's a doable, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, excellent. 
Let me show you how easy it is, Paul. See this screw right here? Sure. Uh -huh. Shimano has made it so easy to set these reels up problem free. Just take this screw, thumb tight, you back it off. Now when you back it off, it's going to loosen this cap on this side of the reel. Uh -huh. This cap swings out of the way. All of the drag, the brakes, are right here on the reel. Oh, great. If I push the button, you can see them turning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we want to make this thing really user friendly on this light tackle, so we're going to kick out two of them, and then we'll re-engage the reel, put it back together by just tightening down that one screw. One uh, finger tight. Okay, and then I'll set the course adjustment, which is the chrome cap, the silver cap on it. Uh -huh. I'll set the course adjustment up for a fall. See that? Uh -huh. I'm just letting the lure fall. As it hits the water, there's no overrun on the reel. Mm -hmm. If you watch the spoon go down, see that? No overrun. The spool itself slows down. Great. Inside the reel, what we've done is those centrifugal drags that are in there, they're on little pegs. There's six of them. Those little pegs are basically spokes around the reel. And they slide in and out of those positions depending on whether there's centrifugal force in there based on the cast, the speed of the cast. Uh -huh. So consequently, what we've done now is made the reel castable. And you can see the reel. And uh -huh. My thumb wasn't on it throughout oh. the entire thing, except to stop it when it gets into the water out there. Great. And that makes these things really, really user friendly. And if you have a little problem with a backlash, just a little bit, let's just say that that's a little too loose, the course adjustment, tighten it up just ever so slightly, and now we should be able to cast it literally without a backlash. Coming up next on Simply Fishing, more great angling action. Go to fishinfo.com for your internet connection to the world of fishing. For the source on musky information, click musky411.com. Folks, let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. We're inside of a, a little bay. There's a river coming in right behind us right there. You can see the buoy they got out there. It's marking the rock reef right at the mouth of the river itself. What's happened is this water that's coming through the system is the warmest water in the entire lake right now. It's dropping into the cooler basin out here. These fish are moving up into that incoming warmer water. We were in here this morning. Uh, but one big fish right off the bat within ooh, 30, 40 seconds of being here. And then we could see the big girls, but the water was cold. It was very cold. Right now we're at 67. This morning when we came in here, if I'm if my memory serves me right, 55 degrees. So consequently they were fish were retarded. Their activity levels were down. We're back in here again this afternoon and you can see what's happening. We're catching some of these big fish. And we're doing it, some of it by switch hitting. I had one eat a lizard and miss it. I just caught that one on a lizard. We've been throwing spoons, Lynn Thompson. This is the number 16. This is the original Lynn Thompson spoon here. And what uh, Paul's throwing up there is the proverbial five of diamonds, probably the number one standby lure in all of Canada. And uh, so spoon feeding them or lizard feeding them, we're going to get a few fish. Ah, got it. Stay with it. You got a good one. Good, turn the boat. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> boat is going around, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Powerhouse. Yeah. <laughs> All the way around, aren't we? Mm-hmm. A control of her? Yeah, well. Kind of, sort of? Kind of, sort of. I'm going to try and turn and bring her back around where I can grab her. You have spun this boat all the way around. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Oh, 
she's still got plenty of power left to turn it around again. <laughs> Have I got control of her? You're awfully quiet up there. <laughs> I'm just trying to bring her in, that's all. Come on, girl. Now she's... Good. You work on that one. I'll work on this horse. <laughs> you got one going, too? Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> Nothing like a good devil. <laughs> Every time I think I'm going to get a chance to bring her in. I'll get this one in, and then we'll work on yours. All right. She's, she's here, coming here. around now. Here, here, come here. Had a girl. Had a girl. Oh. pair of twins here <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice job sweetheart beauty all right let's get her back there we are okay. what a three ring circus huh <laughs> that's right it might be three ring but it's working <laughs> gonna go? Well, I think she's ready. Yeah, there we go. We got a lot of current out here, so the boat's right. gonna be going over top of her. All right. Yeah, she's going. There we go. <sighs> these are these are quite big fish. Yeah, they are. Beautiful fish. Whew. <sighs> Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> double, double, double. <laughs> Attention muskie anglers. Muskies Inc. is looking for a few new muskie anglers. Anglers who want up-to-the-minute access to important and timely information. For more information on how to become a member, simply call 1-888-710-8269. Hey folks, take the guesswork out of finding your next fishing destination. Fish where we fish. Get info on our favorite picks. Go to CanadianConnection.com or call 1-88-91-LURES. There he is. There he is. Big girl. Big girl. Big, 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 big. I thought she was going to eat it. That fish was big. She looked like a musky coming up there. Did she? Oh, yeah. nice. And I threw in the direction that she went, and that stupid little pike just jumped all over it. Yeah. Oh, out of here. See that fish? See that fish? See that fish? See that fish? No. Right behind where I just threw. He's 
cookies on it and eat it. She's looking at it. Oh, <laughs> oh man, she just darted right up to it. She's looking at it. She's got her eyeball on that lure. Hard to do this when you take your eyes off of them. Well, it's hard to do it all together. <laughs> you got. She is. There she is. reflection right now. I can't see her. I can see her now. See her there? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I could see her down there. See, she lunged at that thing three different times. Big For, fish. Yeah, nice fish. Perseverance paid off. Come here, girl. This is what we come to Edmond for, right here. <laughs> this is it. I gotta grab my camera. This is a big fish. Oh, yes. I cannot believe how difficult that fish was to get to eat. Come here, girl. She just must have come out of that cold water right there. She got a big trap. Over this way. Come on, there you go. Nice job. <laughs> what eyes. You've got to really look down at the bottom. You're a Oh yes. Oh yes, you're a big girl. She's docile right now. She just barely came out of that cold water. Oh yes. Well you could have your hands full. I hope she stays docile. Me too. <laughs> It's like I say, she hasn't done anything yet. No, no. Oh. She's not done anything yet, and she don't like me. <laughs> no. Come here, girl. Over here. Okay, you can see again. She might fall out of my hands here. Take my scissors. Easiest way to do this. Wanna see her quick? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, nice job. That's an Edmund fish. <laughs> that is a beautiful pike right there. Man, I'm telling you, this is what you folks can come to Edmund and get. We've caught just a ton of big pike today and yesterday. I'm going to get her back, okay? Yeah, beautiful fish. Wow. Oh, nice fish. 
Oh, and Vance and Wendy run an absolutely nice camp. Look at that. Look at the girth on that fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful pike. No question of that whatsoever. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Look at that fish. She just didn't. She just didn't want to take my lizard real easy though. Oh, that fish is fat. That's a dandy right there. Yes, sir. Okay, girl. Ready to go down? She's going to sink down to the bottom and set. Watch her. Here she is. Yeah. Perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, I had to really, really, really coax that fish with my jigging lizard. <laughs> hey, folks. Thanks for watching this week. I want to thank Paul Mills for being in the boat with me. I want to thank everybody back at the lodge, at Edmund Lake Lodge here, for making this possible. There are so many big fish up here. You come up here, bring your...